Oh God. Why? 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 How you doing guys? It's me again. Back with a first impressions video of all things. I haven't done these in a while, although maybe that's for the best. Who knows? But anyway, I'm here to talk about the Metal Gear Survive Beta. And dear lord, are my impressions not good. Now, of course, when I first heard about this game, what do you think my initial impression was, honestly? I mean, every Metal Gear fan, every gamer as a whole, felt the same way about this game. It just felt shameless of Konami to rip off the Metal Gear series and try to change it after the fact of them screwing over Kojima and making him leave his own studio. I mean, obviously people's first impressions weren't going to be good. But I mean, they were worse than I initially had thought. I mean, if they were going to make a new Metal Gear game, maybe they would have actually completed 5 with a smaller team, or maybe just added some DLC to 5? I, I, I don't really understand why it had to be a zombie game. And that's really where I come off as. It just, it feels terrible to play this game, and it's just not fun, and I mean, that's my short and sweet for this, really. If you don't really want to stay for the rest of the impressions, then I would say this game is just not fun on its own. Even ignoring the fact that this is a complete betrayal of the original series, it's not even fun on its own right, and... Honestly, I think you're just going to waste your time just playing this game. There are tons of other better games like it that are more popular and just better as a whole. But uh, I digress. So when I first started up this game, I created my character, and really that's actually a direct ripoff of the original Metal Gear Solid 5 engine. I, again, I don't... I kind of get annoyed by that, because this whole game is kind of a reskin of it, making it feel very unoriginal, even down to, like, the assets. Um, walking around in the desert just felt just like walking around the desert in 5, and it just felt kind of lazy, I'll be honest with you. But this is where we start to get into the gameplay of 5, or survive in this case, sorry, get them mixed up. I played with a friend, and... The point of the game, or at least in the beta, is to protect your, basically, tower defense, essentially. Um, you have this little drill that's extracting items, and you need to protect it while zombies hoard the area. It's basically like a horde mode. Now, there are actually going to be other gameplay modes in the full game, and I believe there's actually going to be a story, but I do think this gives you a pretty good impression of what the game is going to be like, at least gameplay-wise. And really, that's why I'm giving this quick first impressions video. That way, you know exactly what this game is going to be like if you haven't actually played the beta already. So, here we go. The first thing I'd like to note is that this game controls really badly, in my opinion. It's... You know how movement in Metal Gear Solid V, the Phantom Pain, felt better than it did in Ground Zeroes because they really tweaked the controls and made it very, you know, tight and fun to play? Well, Survive feels honestly like two steps back, in my opinion. It doesn't feel good to control at all. And that's considering, like, a lot of things here. Like, literally all they had to do, since they reskinned everything else in this, was just <laughs> reskin the controls from 5. Why didn't they do that? No, they changed button prompts, and they actually, like, made the control feel worse, and I don't know how. Movement feels way worse, even more, like, kind of too sensitive or floaty, sort of? I don't know how to explain it, but, like, it, it kind of feels like a worse version of Ground Zeroes, which had a little bit of hindered movement, but not nearly as bad as this. It almost feels like when you walk forward, you walk forward 
way too much where there's almost like a lag time on all your controls that makes it feel really bad. And the weirdest thing to me is that Metal Gear Solid 5 controlled just fine the way it was. I mean, considering this is a survival game, maybe I might be okay with the fact that they changed the control scheme, but I don't understand why Circle is now to crouch and I have to double tap the X button to do the roll, and I don't understand why that had to be, okay? Um, it just makes things really weird in my opinion. The inventory system is okay, I guess. It's, you know, they changed it around to kind of fit the style of this game a bit more, which I'm okay with, but the controls themselves and the way certain buttons are mapped out feel really bad in my opinion, and it's a real hindrance on the movement in this game, and I just, I did not like that at all. Moving on, now we start to get into the meat and potatoes of what this game is, and in the beta, like I said, it's a tower defense mission, where you actually get thrown into a map with your friend, and you have to instantly start collecting uh, items to build a defense against the zombies. It's basically like a tower defense game, like I said, but how does it work in this game? Well, Metal Gear Survive, instead of having typical enemies like in the series is known for, you know, guards and stealth, and in Metal Gear Solid V's case, it had more stuff like, uh, you know, the, the Skulls unit, and you know, kind of more interesting enemies than what you're used to. Metal Gear Survive just has the zombies, and there's different types of zombies depending on, you know, what you do in the game and where you go and what difficulty you're on and such, and again, I'm going to say this, I didn't really like the enemy design in this game either, I get where they were going with it, um, there's about maybe like three or four different types of enemies in the beta, uh, there's the regular zombies which just move at a very slow pace, but they typically come in hordes, then there's bomb enemies which are just like these gigantic, disgusting looking things, and then there's, like, armored enemies, and, again, they're just harder-hitting, more health zombies. And so, you know, you have to get into the, the game kind of, like, in the mindset of kind of, like, Left for Dead in a way, right? Because you, you have all these different enemy types to play around with, but the one thing the game really loses is that stealth mode, because the AI are just, like I said, zombies, and they basically spot you right off the bat, and there was no use for stealth in this. You just had to aggro enemies and protect the, the drill. So... The enemy types in this game are kind of lame in my opinion, but again, I guess that comes with the territory of what this game is rather than, you know, what Metal Gear is as a whole. At the start of the match, you and your friend are basically, or whoever's in your party, I think it's just a tip, like a, a group of four, I, I think that's the most you can have in a group. But at the start of the match, you are instantly timed in getting to your objective, and you have to collect items and build a defense against the zombies, so you can build gates, you can build uh, turrets to defend yourself, and as you go through the game, you actually get upgrades to things and ammo for things. And The one thing I find interesting about the game is actually that the ammo is very limited, and it really makes you rely on weapons, which are basically what you're seeing here. I didn't really use the machete a whole bunch, I actually used the... Uh, the, the spear weapon a lot more because I could gain some distance across enemies and really as you could see or as you will see in this footage it kind of gets annoying having to um, combat enemies without actual guns the game really doesn't rely on either of the two very much but the basic goal is that it really rewards you on the fact that you can keep enemies away from your base, um, finding whatever means possible. And I, I kind of enjoyed that. It shows some potential here and there, but combat still doesn't feel fun, like I said, because of the controls, and that's really annoying. So like I said, there's a kind of crafting um, element to the beta, 
and finding stuff is incredibly important. Um, you can only craft things, at least when you're in the game, uh, at crafting bars at these little, you know, tables that you find. And so, you have to fend off waves of the enemies, and typically there are three waves, but I'm guessing there are more in the main game, depending on, you know, how far you are in the game. But putting up gates around the, uh, the defense is actually incredibly important. It gives you a lot of time to aggro the enemies to that, and while they're attacking that, fend them off. Um, now... Between waves, there are also these little objectives you can go get, and one of the ones that were really important in at least our gameplay experience was the fact that you can go to find a walker gear, and if you've played Metal Gear Solid Five, you know what walker gears are. They're these little kind of metal gears that shoot and kind of have increased mobility. In this game, they are incredibly, incredibly important because not only can they destroy enemies, but they, like I said, they give you a lot more mobility in what you can do. And I would recommend going after them as soon as you see them on the map. So that's basically the game. You rinse and repeat over and over. And of course, there are different uh, items you can find. And, you know, there's stuff that kind of help you along the way, like... The currency in this game um, is really useful because you can actually go to your drill and make it drill faster, or you can call in reinforcements, or while you're in the actual uh, the little hub area, you can increase your stats with it, or you can buy more items and such, and it really adds up to getting as much stuff as you can, and seeing how all of your survival stuff, uh, you know, all your items carry over from game to game, once you use something, it makes your resources more valuable. Now, really the thing I come down on this game about is that it's just not that fun to play, in my opinion. It's really... If I wanted to play a tower defense game, for one thing, I'd probably play Fortnite, and I mean, I don't really have any interest in that game, but... As a wave-based game, it's just much more fun to play, probably. <laughs> at least I can look at it and see that. With all the control problems this game seems to have, it just doesn't feel fun to control or play, and nothing really ever feels satisfying. And that's really what me and my friend who was playing, and as you can see in this gameplay footage, that's basically the conclusion we came to. I mean, if we're going to play a wave-based game like this, we'll play anything but this. It just doesn't feel right, and the fact that I was using a controller the whole time, honestly, I don't get it. Like, even using a mouse and keyboard I don't think would be much better. And it just, the whole game just felt like a waste of time, and it just didn't feel fun to play on its own. So, I mean, like, honestly, I know some people might say that I'm being a fanboy and I'm kind of, like, clutched onto the whole old ways of how Metal Gear games were made, namely by Kojima, but can you really blame me here? I mean, like, this game just does, feels like a ripoff of a game, and it just doesn't feel right to play, and I mean, I tried looking at it as a game, as its own little thing, and even then, I just, I don't think it's that fun at all. And I won't be buying this game. I never really intended to buy this game, but I felt I thought at the very least I should have given this game a shot, and I did. I really did. I gave it a an honest to god shot, and really, I just came away with a headache. <laughs> this game just like it feels like a paradox. It doesn't feel like it should have been made. And I really wish if Kodami were going to kill off the series like this, they'd at least just let it go. Leave it at five. Leave it at survive now. Just don't release any more Metal Gear games if you don't care, because clearly they don't care. The game just... it just isn't Metal Gear. It's not fun. And I really don't think the release of this game is going to be any better, honestly. And, and even looking at the game now... Well, for one thing, I, I could see them really putting microtransactions in this game and really screwing the economy up with that, the in-game economy. Um, it just looks so easy to put micros into this game, and that really pisses me off. But I'm not going to complain about that too much. They doesn't seem like they've done it yet. But, yeah, I mean, I kind of 
came away from this game just feeling, honestly, not even disappointed. Like, I, this is exactly what I was expecting it to be. And really, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I didn't go into real detail about how collecting things works in this game or about other certain parts of it, but honestly, I really don't care to. I really don't even care to talk about this game anymore. You know, as we speak, my mouse is hovering over the Steam icon of this game and ready to uninstall it. I mean, I'm, I'm just so ready to get away from this game. No, I won't be buying it, and no, I don't think you should buy it either. I really don't think this game is a worthwhile investment, and, I mean, if you really want to try the beta, go for it, and maybe you'll actually like it, but, honestly, even the game itself just feels like a waste of time. So, that's really my thoughts on this game. It's a quick first impressions video, and I'm sorry I didn't go into more detail, I really don't feel that I need to, though. I think, you know, this gameplay footage and my impressions really speak volumes about it. Anyway, guys, take it easy. And hopefully next time, I won't get such a headache trying to talk about this damn game or other games in the future.